You are an engineer working on a new railway project. You see on the cameras a train speeding down the track about to kill a whole group of people working on the track at the time. You have a central override program and can pull a lever which will divert the train to another track on which there is only one worker who would be killed. Would you pull that lever? The philosopher Philippa Foote posed this scenario in the famous trolley dilemma. The dilemma is not just theoretical. In the book Holocaust and Halacha, which explores how even in the horrors of the Holocaust, Jews tried to keep Jewish law, the following tale is recounted. A Jewish prisoner in a camp asked the rabbi this question. The Nazis have imprisoned a hundred children who they plan to murder tomorrow morning. My son is among them. I can bribe the guard to free my son, but if I do, the Nazis will grab someone else's son to replace mine. Rabbi, may I bribe the guards to free him? The rabbi didn't answer him. From his inability to find a response, the father interpreted the rabbi's answer to mean that he was not allowed to free his son at the cost of another person's life. The Talmud discussing a similar situation says, how do you know your blood is redder? Maybe their blood is redder. Rashi comments saying, who knows that your blood is more treasured by your creator than the blood of someone else? That makes sense when talking about one person against another, but how can we explain maintaining one life at the expense of hundreds or thousands? Can't we say with absolute certainty that in God's eyes the lives of many people are more valuable than the life of just one person? It really depends how we measure the value of a life. Judaism believes that each and every life represents a whole world. No matter how many lives are being discussed, we cannot pit life against life. By pulling the lever to divert the train, you are actively choosing to kill an individual, and taking any life is murder, even if it's to save the lives of many others. Obviously, this is an oversimplification. The complexities which go into making such a judgment are enormous, which is exactly why no human is in the position to judge the worth of somebody's life. No one knows the potential or the challenges of an individual or what God expects from them. We can never know someone's true value. That is God's business alone.